Hello Foundation personnel. My name is Knox, but everyone around here refers to me as SCP. Today we will be covering, or should I say, beginning our coverage of Ouroboros The Cycle Proposal. Ouroboros is a bit different in that it is one large proposal that is comprised of four separate components, namely Part 1, The Children, Part 2, The Broken God, Part 3, Atonement, and finally Part 4, The Way It Ends. Due to the size of this proposal, it will be split into multiple lectures. Even with my anomalous properties, you will want these breaks, as each proposal is dense with information. Today we will start by going over Part 1, The Children. The remaining parts of the proposal will be covered in subsequent lectures. With that outlined, let's begin. Object Designation Number Item 001 Containment Class Thaumiel Containment Status Active Stable Containment Procedures Item 001 is currently contained in San Marco, Mexico, beneath the previous site of San Marcos de la Vida Eterna Church. Original containment procedures have proven sufficient to contain Item 001. The area of containment is currently designated a high-security military waste disposal site, and Mexican law disallows individuals from coming within 10 kilometers of the site. Automated, closed-circuit surveillance drones are to maintain the perimeter around Item 001's containment site and have been designed to kill on site. O5 Memorandum 001 Alpha The containment of information regarding SCP-001, formerly Item 001, is to be considered a highest priority. I've allowed clearance in the database for the creation of a number of false objects in the slot. If anybody gets that far, that should be enough to satiate them. I pulled out some of the original EXs to hold the spot until we can find something better. Expunge everything you find. Get rid of any leaks. Drown it all in as many kill agents as you feel is necessary. You have more than enough clearance to do so. 052. Object Description Item 001 is the group designation for 9 human beings aged 4 to 11 who gained anomalous properties as a result of Project 001, Twins of God. See Project Proposal 001 for more information. Due to improper use of Item 001, resulting in the death of a high-ranking staff member, termination was necessitated. As a result, Item 001 was put into its current containment. All nine instances of Item 001 are functionally brain-dead but continue to display signs of life despite the nature of their containment. Item 001 instances emit massive amounts of gamma radiation, often in excess of gigajoules, in distinct patterns. When separated, these patterns appear random. However, certain characteristics become evident when the instances are brought together, and as such, each instance is contained roughly from any other instance of Item 001. Additionally, Item 001 are notably radioluminescent. Video observation of Item 001 instances is impossible when instances are active, as video recordings experience decay of footage when instances are on screen. Item 001 instances are capable, when within a range of no greater than 20 meters from any other instance of Item 001, of long distance termination of objects, places, or individuals. Additional information regarding this property is detailed later in this file. By order of the Overseer Council, Item 001 has been classified as a Thaumiel entity. Warning: Additional information regarding Item 001 is locked, and currently subject to Level 5 classification. Memetic kill agents are in place to prevent dissemination of information regarding Item 001. Non-overseer individuals without Class 5 memetic resistance conditioning are susceptible to termination as a result of the kill agents. You have been warned, and this will be your last warning. Project Proposal 001 Locked Ah, so this is the locked part of the file I was told about. Not to worry, as the O5s have gifted me with a handy note. It has a list of passwords on it for just such an occasion. Let me uh, put this in here. Okay, there we go. 
Project Proposal, Twins of God. Research Team, Omega-5. Project Date, 02-13-1922. Proposal Statement. To create an anomalous entity bound by the necessary forces to the command of the Foundation Central Command Administrator, capable of destroying long-range, hostile anomalous threats to Foundation and global security. Research Team Lead, Dr. PhD 051. Assistant Leads 052 053. Requested Resources Access and Use of Item Subatomic Pumping System Access and Use of Item Parkins Gateway Access and Use of Item Multiple Injections Materials necessary to construct a necessary containment and testing facility. No fewer than 50 adult humans, D-Class, for testing purposes. Project Details Using information gained from recent testing of item and item, an opportunity has arisen previously unavailable to the Foundation. The ability to, over large distances, alter the quantum makeup of objects in such a way to render the target functionally non-existent. To this end, it is now considered possible, with the use of item, to transfer these properties to a human subject, which should allow for greater control of the effect. To meet the desired goal of this project, item, item, and item have been removed from Foundation records, and their containment will take place solely at the primary testing facility. Under guise of a military waste disposal site for the United States government, a site will be constructed in northern Mexico, away from civilian populations, in order to safely test these theories. Given the potentially volatile nature of the project, utmost care will be implemented to provide a number of fail-safes in the event of a catastrophic breach of containment. These fail-safes are listed below. Given the success of the project, the control over the entity, tentatively designated Item 001, is to be handed off to the administrator of the Foundation for use against the hostile, anomalous organization classified as GOI-003, Kingdom of Abaddon. A number of Mind Kill agents will be placed within the item and access to these agents will be given to the administrator alone, to act as a failsafe in order to keep the item out of the hands of opposition forces. Failsafe Containment Procedures Alpha in the event of a catastrophic breach of containment, mind kill agents placed within item 001 are to be activated, terminating the entity. Each of these agents has been given a different priority level and should be used in order. They are as follows. Berkeley agent, reduction of motor functions. Anastasia agent, reduction of anomalous properties, development ongoing. Nesbit agent, reduction of mental faculties. Orion agent, Full Chemical Dissolution of Upper Nervous System Beta In the event of a failure of Procedure Alpha, security personnel are to engage and terminate Item 001. Capture is unlikely and unadvised. Personnel are advised to maintain a safe working distance from Item 001 and wear the necessary Foundation-approved anti-rad protection gear. Long-range ballistic fire is also advised as to not immediately attract the attention of item 001. Delta. In the event of a failure of Procedure Beta, Foundation-controlled long-range ballistic weapons are to be activated and used directly on item 001. A perimeter will be established roughly 10 kilometers from the research facility, and no fewer than 10 heavy shell bombardment cannons are to be placed along the perimeter and utilized during the Delta procedure. Epsilon. In the event of a failure of Procedure Delta, an on-site explosive device is to be activated. The Foundation Administrator will oversee follow-up of Procedure Epsilon. Project Approval Foundation Administrator Frederick Williams 051 Project Lead Okay, looks like we have another locked file here. Just give me one second. And we're good. Project Twins of God Progress Report Research Team Omega-5 Project Date 04-19-1924 Progress Details Initial containment of the new Item 001 entity became immediately problematic, as the 
and acute radiation sickness across roughly 35% of active staff personnel, resulting in casualties. Adjustment of containment procedures became necessary, and the internal structure of the containment site, now designated Site 001, was reinforced. Personnel chambers were moved back to an off-site location roughly 5 kilometers from the central testing facility. An attack on Foundation Research Facility in the Sudan by Kingdom of Abaddon forces increased the drastic need for a long-range defense system and expedited the timeline for an active item 001. By order of the Foundation Administrator, additional resources were granted to aid in the development of a more effective testing protocol. Another primary concern became the containment of the anomaly within a single human subject. In 100% of all test subjects, while the anomalous nature would transfer with little incident, subjects would become immediately paralyzed and suffer from severe cerebral hemorrhaging. The only evidence of the anomaly taking effect was the sudden and random destruction of on-site structures and personnel, theorized to be the result of a loss of control due to deteriorated mental capacities in the subjects. In 100% of all cases, mind kill agents were utilized to terminate the pre-item 001 entity. Additional research conducted by off-site personnel gave light to the possibility of spreading the anomaly over a number of subjects, thus managing the increased mental load of the anomalous properties. After a testing run that left Site-001 at reduced capacity to operate, and with the allowance of D-Class personnel transferred off-site to other projects by order of the Foundation Administrator, alternate options for the continuation of the project had to be discussed. After consulting with the Site-17 director, a group of armed agents infiltrated the San Marcos de la Vida Eterna Church in San Marco and collected a number of young human beings for use in testing. Class A amnestics were applied to the entirety of the remaining San Marco population, who were then transferred to Site-09 for processing. The town of San Marco then became the new testing Site-001, and 23 of the healthiest subjects were chosen for research, while the rest were subject to termination. Current status. The project is prepared to move on to the next phase of testing on the new 001 testing subject and is awaiting orders from Central Command. The following letter has been sent ahead of this project update and reads as follows. 4-3-1924 to Foundation Administrator from Omega-5 Team Lead. Administrator Williams, due to cuts and withdrawals ordered from your office, it has become increasingly difficult to maintain the level of progress expected from this project as per your orders. With no communication from Central Command, we assume that our directive has not been altered. A proposal to aid in our project reaching its conclusion will follow shortly. We ask that you please note the changes and reply in kind. Your timely response is appreciated. Project Lead 4-15-1924 to Omega-5 Team Lead from Foundation Central Command. Your orders have not changed. We are in no less danger now than we were at the inception of your project. Unfortunately, we must also face the harsh reality that we are at war, and our resources are stretched thin. We are having a difficult enough time as is maintaining the secrecy that our cause requires, let alone continuing to do research. I will afford to you the benefits that I can, if for no other reason than your project may be all that can protect us from Abaddon now. I have seen your proposal, and while I am obliged ethically to deny the request, I am additionally obliged as the leader of this foundation to approve it. You may take your pick of the citizens, but only adults, and do not tread heavily through the lives of these innocents. God knows enough blood has been shed on our behalf. I do not wish to spill more. Administrator Williams, Foundation Central Command. Okay, one more file here. Let me uh, just put this in. All right. Group of Interest File 003. Designation, Kingdom of Abaddon. Threat level, very high. Activity level, very high. Priority, level five. Summation, GOI 003, Kingdom of Abaddon, is a collection of hostile anomalous humanoids currently located somewhere in the Sahara Desert, at a location referred to in their manuscripts as the Citadel of our God King Abaddon. These humanoids appear similar to human beings in a number of ways, 
but all instances appear to be at least Class 1 reality-bending entities, with higher-ranking individuals reaching Class 3 and 4 classifications. Due to their anomalous qualities, capture and containment of these instances is impossible, and attempting to do so is often exceedingly dangerous. Initial Discovery GOI-003 was initially observed by French military personnel in 1912, during an investigation of attacks against a small village in northern Libya. The military convoy was ambushed, resulting in the deaths of 80% of the contingent. Survivors reported an attack by no more than six sorcerers, who were capable of flight and resistant to arms fire. These survivors, and the superiors who witnessed their account, were amnesticized and released. Foundation personnel first encountered GOI-003 during an attempted raid on a broken god warehouse in southern Egypt, when MTF Alpha 4 No Borders was attacked by a group of anomalous individuals matching the general description given by the French military members. MTF Alpha 4 was successful in repelling these forces and managed to capture a lower ranking individual. After processing and interrogation, the true nature of the Kingdom of Abaddon was realized and Foundation Central Command began taking steps to protect the Foundation from the anomalous group. According to the gathered data, the Kingdom of Abaddon was originally a group of reality-bending entities from Arabia who sought to carve out a nation of their own within the inhospitable Sahara. Because of their nature, they were able to adapt the harsh landscape to their needs and use the terrain to keep intruders away. Over time, their numbers grew, and new births were brought before the ruler of the kingdom, God King Abaddon, to be changed into additional reality-bending entities. However, due to inbreeding and other genetic malfunctions that plague their society, GOI-003 is particularly fragile and will not likely last on its own as an independent organization for any longer than 20 years. Collected data implies that Abaddon is aware of this and is taking steps to assure its future. To this end, a number of Foundation facilities in and around the African continent have come under attack by Kingdom of Abaddon aggressors, who have cost the Foundation no fewer than 75 lives thus far, and who have stolen at least 12 different items. Conclusion Because of the danger and difficulty involved when confronting Kingdom of Abaddon aggressors, and because of the lack of information regarding their activities, it is advised that no personnel attempt to engage any group without backup from a heavily armed military contingent. Research into developing methods to combat Abaddon forces is ongoing. And another locked file here, let me just, one second. Okay. Date, 11-29-24. User, Omega-5-1. Subject, 001. We did it then. We managed the impossible. We spat in the face of God and took his throne for our own. It is a glorious new day. Five was right about spreading the anomaly around a group. Even with all the reinforcements we had made to the previous test subjects, the amount of energy that managed to pump into their bodies was too much. Can't tell you how many D-class we had to clean up off the floor after watching their skin melt off their bones and their bones carbonize and blow away like dust. Dozens? Hundreds? I don't know. More than we were expecting, and more than the Foundation was willing to allow, even for a project like this. 13 has expressed regret over what we did in San Marco, but 13 is short-sighted, and the Administrator is short-sighted. The deaths of a few, even the deaths of many, in order to protect the world from annihilation? It is nothing, and less. Those children are gods now. Their lives committed to a higher purpose. What life is better than that of the omnipotent? Testing begins tomorrow. Can you hear it? Another locked file, just let me put this in. There we go. Project Twins of God Progress Report. Research Team, Omega-5. Project Date, 1-17-26. Progress Report. The nine entities collectively known as Item 001 are currently contained within the fortified bunker at Testing Site 01 while undergoing testing. The entities, while functional in their purpose, display no higher brain activity. Despite this, the group collectively is capable of processing information and following orders given by individuals allowed within the mimetic control cycle that all instances routinely undergo. 
All instances are currently a class 5 radioactive hazard and personnel are restricted from coming within one kilometer of item 001 instances without the proper anti-rad protection equipment. The gamma radiation emitted by item 001 appears to come randomly between individuals, but when brought together resembles patterns made by conscious human beings on EEG machines. Despite the resemblance, these patterns are more sporadic and inconsistent than what is usually observed in such situations. Item 001 are able to collectively channel enormous amounts of energy from a currently unknown extra-dimensional source and use this energy to unbind atoms at a quantum level. This allows for the nearly imperceptible annihilation of any object at any distance so long as the object and location is described in some detail to item 001. Below are the item 001 test results for 1, 17, 26. Test series 23. Object, item 001. Research team, Omega-5. Testing goal, establish an outer limit for item 001's area of effect. Round one. Target object, steel rod, placed five kilometers from item 001. Item 001 instructed by operator, Dr. Omega-5 team leader to destroy target object. Result. Target object vaporized shortly after item 001 received orders to do so. No quantifiable amount of target object remained post-test. Round 5. Target object, steel rod, placed 800 kilometers from item 001. Item 001 instructed by operator, Dr. Omega-5 team leader to destroy target object. Result. Target confirmed vaporized shortly after item 001 received orders to do so. Distance appears not to be a factor. Longer range test planned in next series. The children are operating as designed. I have little doubt that they will serve their purpose when the time comes. They are unwavering, unfeeling, seemingly indestructible, and need only a word before sending death flying across the universe. Truly, this is a weapon built only for the boldest of men. 051. Test Series 25 Object, Item 001 Research Team, Omega-5 Testing Goal, Establish a Maximum and Minimum Size of Effect Over Distance Round 2 Target Object, Steel Sphere, 3 meters in diameter, placed 1,000 kilometers from Item 001 Item 001 instructed by Operator, Dr. Omega-5 Team Leader to destroy Target Object Result Target object vaporized, as expected. Round 3. Target object, Church of the Broken God worship site in Turkey, is 11,500 kilometers from item 001. Item 001 instructed by operator, Dr. Omega-5 team leader, to destroy target object. Result. Target vaporizes. No additional damage noted to surrounding area. Witnesses to event were administered a Class A amnestic and released, held, for additional testing. Test demonstrates that individuals or groups of individuals must be targeted, as targeting a location is not enough to result in their annihilation. Round 7. Target object, male human, age 33, located roughly 11,500 kilometers from item 001. Item 001 instructed by operator, Dr. Omega-5 team leader to destroy target object. Result, target vaporizes. Man, another password, okay. And there we go. Date, 2 one 26. To Omega-5 team lead, from Administrator Williams. I have heard the good news of your success with Project 001 and cannot express to how important this is. We will finally be able to put an end to Abaddon and be able to better protect ourselves in the future. To this end, I am eternally grateful. However, I must admit my concerns about you specifically, 051. Your recent letters have been troubling in spite of your successes. I have no doubt that you are the most qualified man to lead the Omega team, but I understand if the stress of the endeavor has taken a toll on you. I know it has with me. Regardless, once this is all over, I'm prepared to promote you to director of the newly constructed Site-19, after you've taken some time to recuperate, of course. We can discuss the details when I see you next month, once we've taken care of Abaddon. Sincerely, Administrator Williams. Date, 2-14-26. 2, Foundation Central Command. 
from Omega-5 Team Lead. I am fine, Administrator. The project is finished. We will complete our task when you arrive. 1. General Notice All Personnel Issued by Foundation Central Command Date 3-21-26 Subject Administrator Williams Foundation Administrator R.D. Williams has been murdered. A general warrant has been released for the capture of his killer and his killer's accomplices, Dr. 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 and Agent. These individuals are believed to be armed and highly dangerous, and may possess a number of dangerous anomalous items. If you have information regarding the location of these individuals, please report directly to your site director. A transitory council of administrators has been created, consisting of senior staff members from the Omega-5 research team, by order of the late administrator. This council will oversee Foundation operations until such a time as a new governor can be established. General Notice Issued by the Foundation Central Command Date 3-22-26 Subject Dissolution of GOI-003 Investigatory Teams Notice the following MTF investigatory teams are currently considered inactive and are to report to Site 17 for debriefing. MTF Alpha 1, All the King's Men. MTF Alpha 2, Red Right Hand. MTF Alpha 3, Harvard Boys. MTF Alpha 4, No Borders. MTF Alpha 5, Band of Brothers. MTF Alpha 7, Dark Testimony. Date 11-1-26 to Overwatch Command, from Director Harrison, Site-23, Subject, Site-23 Scouting Report. My boys just came back with the reports. I'll send the pictures they took along with this letter, but I still can't believe it. It's all gone. Just desert that goes on for an eternity, like they were never even there. I had them check, and you were right. No bodies. There shouldn't be any, should there? Regardless, I don't know what devil you had to make a deal with, but thank you, Harrison. And it seems that there was an audio recording added here later on, which has been transcribed, so I will go ahead and read that. Better to do this now, I think. Better to get it done while I can still remember it all. It's been a long time since I read this file. Longer still since that night in 26. It's been too long since people knew the truth of what we did, and what happened to Abaddon and One and the Administrator. Hell, if the amnestics have held up, I might be the only one left. I have no intention of taking it to the grave with me. Not this. One always was charismatic. That much is on record. That's why Williams gave him the lead of Omega-5 over Two, even though Two had been with the Foundation longer. That's not to say that One wasn't smart. On the contrary, he was one of the more brilliant researchers I had ever worked with, even after all this time. He penned most of the reports for the work that Omega-5 did, even before we were a full-fledged team, back when we were just a handful of junior researchers out of Site-17. He was eloquent and passionate and driven. He was also always so detached. He loved his work, don't get me wrong, and the research was his greatest desire. But the direction of the foundation, the stress on containment, he had no love for. He said to me many times, that we were underutilizing our assets. That we could provide better containment of anomalies if we weren't so damn afraid of them. Afraid to use some to contain others. He was the original designer of the Thaumiel classification, of course. Him and the Epsilon 2 research team. I think that's why he was so eager to jump at the chance to do what we were doing with 001. It was unprecedented, the 001 project. But then, so was Abaddon. The logs here don't give the half of it, and the rest has been lost to history. With Abaddon, we were wildly, hilariously outmatched. A group of decently funded scientists and armed guards against a small army of type greens, and we didn't even see the worst of them. Class 2s and 3s were more than a match for the best we had to offer, and this was nearly a half century before we'd see the first grant and anchor. Some reports claim that the ruler was a class 5. If true, then he could have blinked us off the map if he wanted. Abaddon was responsible for the complete destruction of three sites in 1922 alone. It wasn't just in sub-Saharan Africa either. 
although we certainly didn't publicize that. There was kingdom activity as far north as Gibraltar, and as far south as Madagascar. They would enter sites, destroy everything, and leave with just a few objects. Shred the records too. And what were we to do? We had only just begun classifying reality vendors, let alone combating them. Were they to make it to one of the larger sites in Europe or the Middle East, it would have been a bloodbath. If you're reading this, then you've read the logs about 001. You know what it does, how we built it. The gun to end all guns. A weapon crafted out of human bodies and fire that could annihilate anything, anywhere, at any time, all with just a brief description. One was fascinated by it, by them, the children. I can still hear them screaming, screaming while we put them into the machines and pulled their souls out and replaced it with something, something else. But it worked, and one was so proud. Then the time came to finish our task. The administrator flew in from 17, one of a handful of times I'd ever seen him in public. As exciting an event as it was, the air was thick with solemnity. We all knew the gravity of our task, understood that we were sentencing hundreds to death. I think that if we thought there was any other option, we might have shied away from the edge, but while we watched, one approached the glowing children and spoke the activation words. They were glorious in a way, the perfect balance of raw energy and human form. He leaned into them and spoke the name of Abaddon Citadel, and then they just burst with light and it was over. We had no way of knowing whether or not it worked, other than what we had seen in the other tests, and yet it felt finished. There was a feeling like a collective breath had been released. Then Williams disappeared, his clothes and protective gear falling to the ground in a heap. And as gunfire filled the testing chamber with smoke, we saw one sprinting towards an emergency exit and 001 glowing again. After this, it was all a rush. A quiet ride back to our bunker as MTF teams rushed in to contain 001, a quick debriefing with other command officials, questioning, searches, it all blends together. One was gone, of course. They didn't find him, and they never did. He wasn't the only one who left. Four other members of our team alone went with him. A number of other junior staff members, and then about half of the senior staff at Site 15 defected. All disappeared without a trace. Items too, right out of their cells. They discovered later that it was a long time in the making, and one had helped foster the 001 project just to meet this end. We buried the children deep beneath San Marco, covered them in about 50 meters of concrete. They didn't say a word when we put them into the lead bags. Not that it would help. They didn't say anything when we separated them, and they didn't say anything when we closed the tomb on top of them. I doubt they'll ever say anything ever again. I have no doubt that they're still alive though. The most powerful weapon in the world, armed and loaded without its trigger. One has the trigger, and one alone. With any luck, it died with him. In the end, we were left in charge, the eight of us who remained. We picked five more of the brightest we could find, and we pushed on. Abaddon was gone, without a trace. There was still so much to do, but we found a way to push forward. We made do, and in the end, we overcame. I still think about the children under San Marco from time to time, about the lengths we went to when we were panicked and afraid, about the things we did, even outside of the project. I think about one, too. I wonder if he found what he was looking for. I wonder if he thinks it was worth it. I received a message through the secure system, nearly one year ago today. I said nothing then, but I'm going to add it to this file now. As for the contents, I'll let others decide. I've said enough. Okay, and then I see here the file he has pinned it here on the end. 13. When we were young, you asked me if I thought that our dreams would ever be realized if we would ever be able to keep the world truly safe and hang it up for good. You asked me if I thought we had the means to do so, or if the means existed at all. You asked me to what lengths we must go, what prices we must pay, what allegiances we must forge in order to achieve perfection. I did not know then. I do know now. There will come a day when the secrets that the Foundation has tried to hide away will rise up from the shifting sands in glorious appearance. 
when the subjugated will break free from the bonds of their captors, and when the march of progress will no longer be impeded by those who would huddle around their fires, swatting at the ever-growing shadows. On that day, the foundation will be cast aside, and all that will remain is purpose. Do you hear the black moon howling, Thirteen? You will. Soon. Viva la insurrection. <sighs> that was a lot. Not to any surprise, but more fuel to the fire of exposing some of the more questionable things the Foundation has done. I understand that desperate times call for desperate measures, but I can't say I agree with the Foundation's methods. That said, I'm simply an anomalous entity as far as you all are concerned, so I'm not really sure if my opinion counts for much. Anyways, several more parts to cover before we will see the full picture on this proposal. Until next we meet. Knox.